Winston Churchill called the Niagara Parkway the nicest Sunday afternoon drive in the world. While I can imagine Winston enjoying the parkway from the back of a convertible, we prefer a bicycle ride. It's a great bike ride, but the Niagara region is also a terrific destination for food, wine, history, and shopping. Our first stop is the grocery at Ravine Vineyards in St. David's, where we'll pick up some bread, some cheese, and some sliced meats. Ravine has an on-site bakery and a charcuterie cellar. If you're having a picnic, I would suggest maybe the baguette. Um, that would be a fantastic choice. Or our focaccia. We also have some French sourdoughs, three different varieties, and we have a plain Pullman available as well. When friends without bikes join us, we stop here at Zoom in Niagara-on-the-Lake and rent bikes for the day. There are lots of places to park along the parkway from Fort George at Niagara-on-the-Lake to the Whirlpool Aero car closer to Niagara Falls. The parkway covers about 18 kilometers for a 36 kilometer round trip. Queenston Heights Park with the monument to Sir Isaac Brock as well as restrooms and water fountains is about halfway along the trail. From Queenston north to Niagara-on-the-Lake is a 20 kilometer round trip. South of Queenston, you'll find the Botanical Gardens, the Butterfly Conservatory, the Beck Generating Station, and the Floral Clock. Ah. We are taking it easy today. We're just going north. There's a small on-road section through the quiet hamlet of Queenston where we take a detour to the Laura Secord homestead. These days, she's best known for chocolate. But back in the day, she was Canada's Paul Revere, warning the Canadian troops that the Americans are coming. Mmm, these are good. After Queenston, the bike path is paved, off-road, and picturesquely situated between the river and the road. You'll see Riverview Estate Winery from the trail. All the wineries along the route will welcome you in for a tasting. Oh, I'd highly recommend our Bianco from the 2011 Vintage. It's a great blend of Riesling and Gewürztraminer. Um, you get the great crispness of the Riesling with the sweet lychee flavors off of the Gewürztraminer to really soften it out. It pairs perfectly with a patio and anything you put in front of it. Purchase a bottle and they'll happily provide you with glasses and a table on the veranda. Or stop at Inniskillen a few minutes further north, just west of the path on Line 3. They have a larger patio to enjoy a bottle of wine and your picnic. If wine's not your style, stop at McFarlane House, where ladies in period costumes serve a very proper afternoon tea. 1804. The trail ends here at Fort George, Canada's first line of defense against an American invasion. The powerful armaments, the awesome fortifications, and the troops stationed here have kept the Yankee invaders at bay for the last 200 years. These days, Americans are welcome, as long as they pay their admission. If you continue north, it's on road into Niagara-on-the-Lake, a pretty little town with a selection of cute, touristy shops. If you don't think it will spoil your appetite, stop at Cow's for a cone or a dish. Gooey Mooey is a burnt sugar ice cream with English toffee marble, caramel cups, and chocolate flakes. After ice cream, Kim likes to browse for clothing. I found a new hat. On the way back to Queenston, you can stop for a tasting at Laley, a small boutique winery, and Peller, which also has one of the prettiest dining rooms in the region and a kitchen headed by celebrity chef Jason Parsons. The southbound view is spectacular, especially as the Brock Monument and the Queenston-Lewiston Bridge come into view. That's the only climb on an otherwise flat ride and you're back to the parking lot at Queenston. By now, 
you're probably hungry for dinner. In addition to Peller, we can recommend Benchmark at the Niagara College, the Don't Let the Strip Mall Storefront Fool You, Stone Road Grill, the Old Winery, and our current favorite, Chef Paul Harbour's restaurant at Ravine. End your evening at Niagara Falls, where the falls are illuminated every evening. <laughs>